Hi guys, welcome back. All right, so tonight I thought we'd do a quick update video. I haven't been on in a while. We've been really, really busy here on the farm. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick update video on everything that's been going on with everybody and what animals we still have and what animals we got rid of and all of that. So let me turn you around. Okay, so we're gonna start down here. We are at the the chicken and duck area. So let me go over here. So all the chickens are starting to look a little bit scraggly because they're molting. All right, so you guys may remember, gotta get this cage moved. That was Honey's cage. So you may have remembered Honey. So Honey was the rooster that we hatched at the preschool. I'm gonna insert a picture right here. Yeah, the only one that hatched at our preschool, and I promised the kids we would keep him. He's a very, very sweet rooster, so we have kept our promise. We're going to keep him um, unless something terribly goes wrong that we need to get rid of him. But he's he's doing good so far. He's learning how to be a boy. Um, but, yeah, so we kept him. Now, we did have two other roosters. We named them Big Red and Black Jack. Um, we actually got rid of them. We found homes for them. So they went to a new home. And then over here, you can see this sweet little girl. This is Henny Penny. She is one of the little ones that hatched in the incubator at our house. So we kept her and she's doing pretty good. We have, we had her in, you can see this dog crate in there. We had her in there. Um, she's very timid, very scared, but she's doing good. She's doing pretty good. So she's acclimated into Wanda's group. You can see that she's with Wanda there. So Henny Penny is doing good. I think that's <coughs> it for the chickens. Um, yeah, I don't think there was anything new with the chickens. We did lose some over the summer just from old age, but um, otherwise they're all they're all good. Um, yeah, so I think that's it on the chickens. So let's see. So I guess next we'll go down and do the update on the goats and see what's going on down there and do a little bit of videoing down there while it's still light before it gets dark because you can tell the sun is starting to set and it's only seven o'clock. So it's going to be dark here in probably about another 10 minutes. So let me quickly go fill up waterers and then we'll go down to the barn. Okay, so I thought of something. Um, we're not down at the barn yet. We're still at the chicken coop. I'm filling up the waterers. So I thought of something that was an update on the farm that I haven't done an update video. And some of you may have seen the YouTube video, but we started another business. So let me turn this around so you can see. Okay, so... That building right there it used to be well it still is the back part is where we keep all the chicken feed um, but my crafty smart husband reconfigured it I'm gonna give you a little peek in the window we've actually did a YouTube video when we first opened it in May but um, we have since changed it on the inside so let me just give you a peek in the window of here I'll go around this way he might be in there working. So this is the front of it. So this is the front of it. Really cute. We have a cute little sign up here that says the kennels because it is called the kennels at Danny's Street Makers. So I'll take a little peek in here. It's locked. But you can see we have this sweet little puppy in here, Rebel. And then you can't see the other dogs there their back and then this was an extra cage that we had to set up this weekend but the other two dogs are in the back I need to clean this glass so there's the kennel hi rebel hi baby hi so it's really cool they have a tv in there they have music on all the time we have this um really neat heating and air conditioning unit so, yeah, so this used to be our one car garage. Hi, BB, it's okay. I was trying to figure out who we are. So, yeah, so that's 
something new on the farm. I decorated it up, me and Taylor decorated it up for fall. So yeah, so that is, <laughs> he's speaking. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> he's such a sweetie. <laughs> so he's a GSP like our two dogs, and we just love him. He's so sweet. All right, so let me head down to the barn now. It's starting to really get dark now, as you can see. So I don't know if we're going to be able to see the little boys, but we're going to, we're going to rush. Okay, be right back. Okay, we are down here. I don't know if you guys can see them. I think you can. So there's all the boys still looking for homes. So the only ones so far that we've gotten rid of were Sally and McQueen. So I've really started advertising again. I think we're keeping him. Um, that's Willow's little boy. He's, he's Zeus's. And we think Mike named him Count Chocula. But all these other cuties are for sale. They can go as bucks or as withers. So if you live local or even if you live within driving distance, we would be glad to meet you halfway with one of these cutie patooties. So, all right, we have to go in. The girls are out here, but we have a big bee's nest in the boy's house. Girls, you're gonna have to wait, okay? To wait a minute, all right? Like, uh, I know. What? Hey, babies. There's Piper with her mama. All right. I don't know where Phelan is. Inside, oh. inside, I'm sure. Willa always keeps her girls inside. I can see Dottie in the window. All right. Let's walk over here. We're going to get the boys food so that I can go in and spray these bees and then I've got to clean their house and I'll show you this bees nest that Mike found and how he found it. Okay, so we're in the little boy's house. I had to turn the fan on. All right, so So I cleaned it all out. So Mike was trying to cut. We're gonna remove, one second, we're gonna remove this wall here so that the boys can have this whole back part along. So it'll make like an L in here for them. So it'll give them more room um, until we find homes for them. So, all right, well let me, let me try to kill this guy. I think he's still alive when I take my shoe off and get him. We're gonna go into the girls. Okay, so we made it back to the barn. So Toffee's up on the milk stand. I just used the milk machine on her. So I'm gonna let her eat and then I'm gonna get Snickers up here next. Okay, so now we got Snickers up here. Snickers is a really, really big milk producer. She's kind of like uh, the second best one of Lucy for the milk. But she's good. But I wanna show you also, look, Mike hung up some Take the towel holder for me, and we brought up some cute little signs in here, and there's some more out there. There's some ones that I got for Christmas, but otherwise, Snickers is the second one. We don't milk Willow at nighttime, we just do Toffee, Snickers, and Lucy. We got Lucy up on the stand now, but I'm gonna have to not videotape while she's being milked because she's a problem child. But you can see she has a lot of milk in there and she does not like this thing to be on both sides at the same time. So she fights and kicks and throws a whole big temper tantrum. So I'm going to milk her and then I'll be back. Okay, all right, so everybody's done now. So now I can show you who's who, so <laughs> what do you do with your leg up on this pool? Ivy, so there's Ivy and Lucy, they sleep in here. So their mother and daughter, Ivy is Lucy's little girl from last year. And then we have over here, Willow with her two girls from last year. 
And that is our Dinky. You may remember her. She's a teeny one and dotty. This is Willow's stall. And then here are the two little girls from this year that we kept. So we have Faylene, who is Willow's little girl. And then this is Piper, who is Lucy's little girl. So Ivy's sister. And then over here we have Maple from last year. So we have what well, we have Toffee with Maple and then Honey. You remember Honey? Honey was the bottle baby from last year that we were afraid wasn't gonna make it. She was really, really having a hard time. So these are her girls from last year. And then we got Snickers. Snickers only had bucks this year, so she doesn't have any girls left with her. And we sold Toffee's little girl, so she doesn't have any of her little babies from this year with her. And that's it. Okay, so that's it. So I'm gonna go back over here to the little boys and I'm gonna get their stall ready. And um, I was gonna show you guys what I used in their stall, because I wanted to show you that it's pet safe. I don't want you guys thinking that I'm spraying something that's not safe for them. Okay, so it's called STEM. And it's for wasps, hornets, and yellow jackets. It's safe for kids and pets. And we read on the back that it's perfectly safe. It's just got a whole bunch of like natural stuff. But I tell you, when I sprayed it in there, they dropped dead. So this is some good stuff. So we've used another kind too. I can't remember the name of it, but they didn't have any in stock. So I got this. So it did the job. Okay, guys, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the evening with us as we did our evening chores. Um, you didn't get to see the big boys because it was dark, but we did them uh, before we came over and started milking the girls. So their stall got clean, they got fed, and everything is good with them. I'll have to show you them on another day. All right, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great week.